Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining again. Also, thank you to everybody that showed love and support on my last video, it was very appreciated. So I ended up getting a lot of requests on my hair and how I curl it. So I just thought today I can show you guys how I do my hair. I'm kind of embarrassed because <laughs> I don't use anything fancy or anything like that. Um, I've had this hair routine for a really long time and it kind of just works for me. So today I'll show you guys a few tips and tricks on how to get some volume and um, how to curl your hair. It's actually really quick. I cannot deal with like high maintenance hair. This is my natural color. I've never really bleached it or tried anything else. I'll show you guys exactly what you'll be needing today if you guys wanna follow along. You need a blow dryer. Any kind of blow dryer works fine. You'll also need a flat iron. It's so funny. Um, I moved back from Sydney, Australia in March and I haven't gotten a new flat iron. So I'm still using this one from Australia. It still has the adapter, so it really doesn't even use its like full strength. So it works for me for now. And then you'll need a one inch curling iron. This is an American one. I actually just bought this one. And I probably low key bought it because it's really cute. <laughs> so I got this one at, um, at Target and it was only like 50 bucks. So not too bad. Um, you also just need a brush. A round brush is preferable. I feel like there's a lot of tutorials out there where girls are like, oh, you can get a lot of volume. You just have to, you know, round brush your own head. And I'm like, nobody knows how to do that on their own. I have my cosmetology license and I don't even know how to do that on my own. I feel like your arms get so sore and it takes so long. I also use coconut oil. I like to put this on after I blow dry my hair. And then my mother-in-law, Kim, she gave this to me and it's like a beach texture spray. I don't know where she got it, but I'll ask her and I'll link it below for you guys. Dry shampoo. I know it's funny, my hair is wet. I just showered. So you'll see when I use it. And then just hairspray. I really don't like this hairspray, but it works for now. Um, this hairstyle, I like to do it right when I get out of the shower and then I just towel dry my hair. I don't know, I would say it's probably like 30% wet still and that's where you want it to be. You don't want it to be super soaking wet because then it takes forever to blow dry. So you just want to towel dry it really well. And then I'll show you guys how I blow dry my hair because that's probably the most important part of like getting some volume. Let's get started. So since I'm doing this in my living room because it's the best lighting, my husband's gonna kill me. Um, you're probably gonna need a vacuum or a broom because if you're like me, I shed like a golden retriever when I uh, blow dry my hair. I got my broom, my broom, and my vacuum ready to go because we just got a cute little carpet and I don't wanna ruin that. Let's get started. So you use your round brush to create lift at the top of your head and bang area. Just go in the opposite direction of how your hair naturally lays. And then when you're done, you'll flip your head over with hot heat and dry your hair upside down. And most importantly, cool your hair upside down. Don't flip it back over until your whole head is cooled down. Then you're probably gonna look like the grudge for a sec. And then you're done. Just kidding. So then what I do next is rub my coconut oil. Very important, just put it at the ends of your hair. Sorry, my hair looks crazy right now. So just set the ends. Also, is anybody else obsessed with the pumpkin spice latte from Starbucks? It's so yummy, it makes me happy. So then you're gonna use this texturizing spray and I like to just spray it a little bit, not a lot, because it's really sticky just a little bit on the roots of your hair. And I just feel like this helps you get some grit. That way when you start like fixing your hair, it just helps it with the volume. I don't know, it works for me. And then I get dry shampoo 
I know you're supposed to use dry shampoo when your hair is dirty, but I like to use it when it's clean. It just gives it that much more. Cause you know when your hair is like freshly washed, it's like so clean and you feel like it's even more flat. I feel like this helps it a lot. I'm pretty sure there's products out there that you can put in your hair that help you with volume. Um, but this is kind of just what I use and it works really well. Now my curling iron is heating up to 425. Um, I like it pretty hot. I like finding a curling iron that has the temperature gauge um, because if you have thinner hair, you don't want to put it on 425. You'll probably burn your whole head of hair off. So that's not a great idea. And then I just start with the back pieces and I just grab about this much. Can use the end. Like I said, really messy. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, when you let go, it's gonna look like that. Fling it on back. You can also have a coffee break. The ones by your face are really important because this is kind of the way that your hair is gonna like land. Some people like their curls in, so you're gonna have your curls more in. Some people like them out. I like them out. So this one, grab your curling iron all the way to the ends and so you can go up and you're going away from the face. Don't worry about these extra pieces. So you're gonna do the same thing to this side. That's real thick, so it's probably gonna take a sec. So nice and pigtaily, throw her on back. I kicked my husband out because I'm still a bit shy to film in front of him, even though he watches this anyways. But I was like, I'm gonna film today, so can you go somewhere? And he was like, sure. <laughs> so I think he went to go get a haircut and somewhere else, but I'm sure he'll be fine. Okay, it's that one. And again, this is your face framing, so this one's a bit more important. And just do the same thing. All the way down, curl up and away from the face. Don't worry about those pieces. So now you can turn off your curling iron. And I want, I let this cool. So again, it's very important that you let your curls cool. So when your hair is cooled down, you can just softly and very gentle, just brush them out with your fingers. Do the other side. So now with your um, flat iron, I forgot to tell you guys that Get a flat iron that has um, round sides. Grab these pieces right here, and I'm just gonna go away from the face. So grabbing this and then just go away. I'm gonna clamp it, and you're just gonna go slowly down at an angle. It's kind of just like a, a very soft curl. See that? Do the next thing. Just twisting at an angle. I'm just going to go down and then I tuck it behind my ear for now and just do the same thing just at an angle go down and then the bang bangs very important so I just get it a little bit hot see where I want it to fall it's actually a bit bigger again at an angle twist and then with this one I just grab it. it could be a little hot so be careful and I just kind of like put my bang exactly where I want it to sit see how it's just cooling like that because that's how I like it to cool just check for any straggles that you want to fix 
I like to do the top of my head sometimes just to get rid of a bit of the frizz. Twists. And bring her on down. So this one's a little bit too flat to the side, so I'm just going to grab this piece one more time. Just kind of go like that. Give it a little bit more umph. You kind of just want it to set right there. So just like that. I kind of like that crease behind the ear that your hair gets. So it kind of cre creates it when you cool it down back there like that. So that's why I like to leave it behind my ear. So then, now when you feel like you have your hair, all the curls where you want them, you kind of just play around with it where you want it to hold a bit. That's literally all I do. I'll link all the products I use down below as well as this curling iron because now that um, I used it, it was so easy, so fast. So yeah, that's how I curl my hair guys. Super simple, super easy. I'm telling you, like if I ever try to do this whole routine with my hair without blow drying it upside down, it doesn't look like this. So I know that is key for getting a bit more volume. And this is gonna last me the next two days or so. So this is all I do, guys. I hope this was helpful for you. I hope that you will try this at home and let me know on the comments down below if this worked for you. I would absolutely love that. And um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if this was helpful for you. And I'll see you guys next week.